Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at uh, melody writing in Soundtrap using the pencil tool or what we call step entry method. So we have a project here. Um, I've already created a template to demonstrate this with that has some harmony in it. I'll play a little sample of that right quick. <laughs> Okay, so that's just a little sample of uh, what the template sounds like. Um, we're going to do some step entry on this line. So if you double click your empty MIDI region, it will pull up your piano roll. And this is where we most often do step entry. Um, this is eight measures total here. So if we want to be a little more specific with our writing, we need to zoom in. That way we can see all 16 subdivisions. If you're seeing more than or less than 16 subdivisions, I recommend that you click on this uh, grid size and come down and set it to instead of automatic set it to 1 16th so that it always stays at 1 16th and I do recommend snap to grid for this writing now I will say that this example is in C major so I know that if I stay on the white keys of the piano that I'm going to be very safe in this example um, you can tell in the piano roll that the lighter colored um, rows are the white keys of the piano and the darker colored sets of two and three are the black keys on the piano and for, again for this project we're going to stay on the white keys um, i have two options for using the pencil tool here i can either click on the pencil and it'll stay there permanently or i can go in and use the alt key on a windows keyboard or option keyboard on a mac um, to switch back and forth so i'm going to do um, the keyboard option on my end because I like that control to be able to switch really fast between the pointer and the pencil. So the first thing I'm going to do is just start with a note on C and there it has been created. It takes up two blocks so um, I can stretch it by grabbing the end of it when the mouse turns to this shape then I'm set to go and I can move it uh, like that and so that now takes up six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I can make some more notes in there. It will always, the length of the note will always match whatever the last note you did uh, was. Okay, so here we have two measures of um, rhythms and pitches written in, and it sounds something like this. Now, I will recommend um, a few things as you write as a beginner in a program like Soundtrap. One of the things I recommend is that uh, when you're writing blocks that you use even numbers of blocks in between the starting edge of a note. So I could have shortened, I could have shortened this to be here, but between the starting edge of this note and the starting edge of this note, I have two blocks. So if you'll start at the beginning of the measure, which is always, um, you can always find that by putting your marker right at the number on the upper grid and it will show you where the beginning of the measure is so if I always start at the beginning of a measure and I stay on the even numbers I'm making really strong beats everything fits very well rhythmically so this first one took up six blocks 
This one takes up two blocks, two blocks, two blocks, four blocks, six blocks. I'm, I'm staying very sh strong with my rhythmic writing. Now, you may say, what happens here? Well, here I used ones. But if I use an odd number, either one or three, I don't recommend using any numbers odd greater than three. One or three are your only odd number options that work out very well. Then you have to use them in pairs. So here I use two ones together, two ones together, two ones together, and it works out. Um, you could also use threes, but again, you need to use the threes in pairs. And then I would follow it back up with some even numbered uh, pairs there. So now we'll listen to the threes and I think you'll hear that they sound pretty good. But three is the biggest pair I would use. So if you write one that has three blocks of length, one, two, three, pair it with another one that has three blocks of length, one, two, three, and then go back to your evens. Again, ones I would pair, and then any even number is gonna work out, be it four, be it two, be it six, eight, or even more. The evens will pretty much always work out to sound pretty good. It's the odd number lengths that you need to watch out for. Again, always pair ones together or pair threes together in your beginning writing. I hope this helps. Um, this is the step entry method for entering melodies. Have a great day.